Hello, friends, and welcome back to Life as God Intended. I'm coming to you again today from Waikiki Beach, Hawaii, at the Royal Hawaiian Center, which is a very popular mall here on Waikiki Beach. And it's a beautiful setting to do this broadcast. And in today's broadcast, we're going to be considering one of life's greatest treasures, and that's friendship. But not just any friendship. We're talking about true, lasting friendship that stands firm in all seasons of life. Now, obviously, we all have those friends who make life brighter during the good times. I mean, who can't encourage someone when things are going well? Uh, their presence is like the warmth of the sun. And boy, is a hot, sunny day here in Waikiki Beach on this beautiful day. And their presence is welcoming and comforting. But my question is, what happens when the skies turn gray and the storm clouds roll in? Are those friends still by your side? Or do they disappear like shadows in the rain? You might refer to them as fair weather friends, as we have called them. And it's easy to find, they're easy to find when life is smooth sailing. But when the waves get rough, they're nowhere to be found. So what makes a true friend? And maybe more importantly, what kind of friend are you? Are you being the friend you want to have? I want you to consider that question because it's really the title of this broadcast. Are you being the friend that you want to have? Well, the Bible gives an incredible insight into the value of true friendship. In fact, in Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 24, it tells us that there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And in Proverbs 17, 17, it says, a friend loveth at all times, a brother is born for adversity. So you can see by those scriptures that a loyal friend loves without envy in prosperity and stands with you in empathy during hardship. These friends, brothers and sisters in Christ, are there not just in the good times, but especially in the times of distress when truly we need a friend. Now let's pause for a moment right here and a, a moment of self-reflection. And I want you to ask yourself these simple questions. Do you seek to give the advantage or do you take advantage? Do you esteem others better than yourself? As Philippians chapter 2 and verse 3 encourages us. The final question that I ask you to reflect upon is, are you the kind of friend to others that you want them to be to you. You see, trials and adversity often reveal the true nature of our friendships. A true friend is one that sticks with you through the thick and the thin, just as Proverbs 17:17 17, 17 reminds us. And one of the greatest examples of true friendship in the Bible is that of Jonathan and David. Despite Jonathan being the son of David's enemy, King Saul, he remained fiercely loyal to David through everything. Even when his father sought to kill David, 
Jonathan warned him and literally saved his life. We read in 1 Samuel chapter 20 and verse 4 that Jonathan said to David, wherever you want, whatever you want uh, me to do, I'll do for you. That, ladies and gentlemen, is true friendship. Standing firm even in the face of danger. But there's even a greater friendship. A friend who surpasses all others in loyalty and love. And that friend is Jesus Christ himself. You see, it's in Christ that we find the embodiment of the perfect friend. No storms, no hardships, no trial can shake his commitment to us. He helps us in our infirmities. And as Proverbs 18, 24 says, he sticks closer than a brother. The psalmist also tells us that the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. You see, Jesus is always there, ready to comfort, ready to heal, ready to stand by us. One of my favorite hymns captures this beautifully conveyed message of friendship. And it's entitled, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. It was written by Joseph Scriven in 1855. And its words are as true today as they were when Joseph penned them hundreds of years ago. It goes like this. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Isn't that beautiful? Friends, if you're looking for a true, lasting friendship, look to none other than Jesus Christ himself. He knows our every weakness. He all, he's always there to share our sorrows. And as we reflect on his perfect friendship, let us consider the kind of friend that we are to others. Let us allow the Lord to examine our hearts. Are we balancing our friendships with mutual support and genuine love? Are we the friends we want others to be for us? <laughs> you see, by fostering true lasting friendships and emulating the steadfast love of Christ, we can create a community of support and kindness that endures through all seasons of life. So let's be that friend. Let's stand firm through the sunshine and the storms, just as Christ does for us. Be the friend that you want to have. Let me say that again. Be the friend that you want to have and you will be experiencing life as God intended in all your friendships. Thanks for watching the broadcast today. And if you liked it, please, so, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Always appreciate you leaving your comments in the comment section below and sharing these videos with others so they might be encouraged in their walk with Christ. Until next time, my prayer for you is that you will experience life as God intended.